I have two Gliss modules here. This first one is in dual record mode, which gives me two control voltage outputs. And these control voltage outputs are going into this Tetrachords module, which is a melodic sequencer of sorts. The top section of the Gliss in record mode is controlling the pitch of the, or the pitch range of the notes that are being generated by the tetrachords of voice one. And voice two has the same modulation input just coming from the bottom side. So the brighter marimba sound is the bottom section of this Gliss and the Rhodes kind of sound is the top section here. With touch control, if you're interacting with some piece of software, your decisions are made before you touch the thing. Whereas with hardware that I'm used to, you can kind of feel where you, you put your hands where you want where you want the action to happen, and and then you decide. Now's the time I'm going to push it. The other Gliss is in control mode, and this is defining the inversion of the scale. This is being used to create progressions uh, inside the tetrachords. This is the first uh, first time I've really seen this kind of application of touch control within the modular system, especially with, with all of the functions that it has. And I have to say, it's a very nice uh, a very nice way of interfacing with the modular system. It's very hands-on, and you can take control of multiple parameters with more than one finger, which is somehow not something you can do very easily with knobs. It just works with anything, like there's always something that's fun to modulate in, a, in any module, and especially expressive and smooth modulation. Maybe you don't always want an LFO to, to do a kind of sign sweeps or whatever, like familiar envelope shapes, so you can have totally different uh, kind of unusual modulation shapes. But I've also only just scratched the surface of what the Gliss can do because there's, there's there's just two modes that we're looking at here, but there's there's a bunch of other modes that you can use that uh, that I haven't uh, I haven't fully explored yet. It's a bit of a kind of a Swiss Army uh, knife module with um, lots of different uh, applications. <laughs>